Hi there, Sam here from Study in Australia TV. Today we'll be telling you more about Australia's food scene by introducing you to our most popular chefs. Australians love good food and we're really lucky because there's a lot of incredible food here. So let's have a look at the cuisines and restaurants in Australia, starting with Neil Perry. Neil Perry is an Australian chef, restaurateur, author and television presenter. He's also the coordinator for Qantas Flight Catering under his company Rockpool Consulting. He's an expert in Asian cuisine and high quality Korean barbecue foods. Some of his recipes include spicy tamarind prawns, sake based chicken and tofu, Korean style braised beef short ribs, and the more traditional, but with a twist, rigatoni with artichokes and pancetta. Also, mussel and saffron risotto, butterfly chicken with ricotta and garlic stuffing. Mmm, they sound delicious. Perry's career in hospitality began in Sydney. He managed sales restaurants at McMahon's Point in Rose Bay. By the age of 24, he found himself gravitating towards the kitchen, and he discovered his passion for cooking from chefs such as Damien Pignolet, Gay Bilson, Stephanie Alexander, Steve Manfredi, and David Thompson. Perry's restaurants include Blue Water Grill at Bondi Beach, which actually became an overnight sensation in 1986. Rockpool in Sydney opened up in 1989, which was his mainstay restaurant in the 90s. He opened Rockpool Bar and Grill in Melbourne in 2007 as an upmarket steakhouse, which has proven to be a major success. It has received great reviews and has been awarded two coveted chef hats in the Melbourne Good Food Guide. He opened two more restaurants in Sydney CBD in 2009, Spice Temple, which focuses on traditional Asian cuisine with a sophisticated polish, and Rockpool Bar and Grill in Sydney, which won the Wine Spectator's Grand Award. Perry also heads consultation team for Qantas, which he creates and controls in-flight menus. The menus are developed quarterly for international first and business class travellers. Neil is also a notable food personality within Australia. He has appeared on food and lifestyle programs in Australia and on BBC Two in Britain. In the Australia Day Honours list of 2013, Perry was made a member of the Order of Australia. Neil Perry is one of Australia's most influential chefs. He is renowned for his commitment to freshness and quality Australian produce across all of his restaurants. Neil's signature dishes include short rib bossom, a Japanese twist on a traditional Korean dish with the addition of misu and chilli, and also a smack of umami from dashi simmered comfort garlic, and goat's cheese tortellini with king prawns, pine nuts and raisins, or stir-fried spanner crab omelette. What a great fusion of food. Up next, we have Maggie Beer. Maggie Beer is an Australian cook, food author, restaurateur and food manufacturer from the Barossa Valley in South Australia. Beer is one of the judges on The Great Australian Bake Off, alongside Matt Moran, and also she's a regular on MasterChef Australia. Maggie actually grew up in Sydney and she's traced her passion for food back to her childhood. Despite not having a formal training as a chef, Bia has had a triumphant career spanning across almost five decades. After relocating to the Barossa Valley, Maggie and her husband, Colin, established the farm shop in 1979, which then morphed into the Pheasant Farm restaurant later that year. The restaurant became known for serving locally sourced pheasant, as well as pate, known as Pheasant Farm Pate. In 1991, the restaurant was awarded the Remy Martin Cognac, Australian Gourmet Traveller Restaurant of the Year Award. Maggie and Colin operated the hugely successful restaurant until 1993. She then became a partner in the Charlix Feed Store restaurant in Adelaide. Currently, Bia operates a business in the Barossa, which produces a range of gourmet foods, including pheasant farm pate, quince paste, verjuice, and gourmet ice creams. She co-hosted the ABC television cooking program, The Cook and the Chef, with Simon Bryant, then head chef for the Hilton Adelaide. Maggie has also written books about food and food preparation, as well as co-authoring a book with noted cook, restaurateur and food writer, Stephanie Alexander. One of her co-written books, Stephanie Alexander and Maggie Beer's Tuscan Cook, has been translated into five different languages. In 1997, Beer was a Telstra South Australian Businesswoman of the Year, and she was awarded the Centenary Medal on the 1st of January 2001 for service to Australian society through cooking and writing. She was then awarded the Senior Australian of the Year in 2010. 
In the Australia Day Honours of 2012, Maggie Beer was appointed a member of the Order of Australia, and in 2016, she was also awarded an honorary doctorate from the University of South Australia. Apart from her range of gourmet foods, Maggie's recipes focus on seasonal quality produce. Think braised beef cheeks in verjuice and mustard marinade, or baked stuffed quail with vino cotto and rocket. There's also barbecue lemon myrtle prawns with sorrel, mayonnaise and bacon, and cavolo nero tart with walnut pastry, blood orange seville marmalade, and almond cake. Also, she has coffee vino cotta tart with bitter oranges. What an incredible use of seasonal produce. Now we're moving on to Shannon Bennett. Shannon Bennett is an Australian chef and author. He's best known as the head chef of restaurant Vudemont at the top of Melbourne's Rialto Tower. This is regarded by many as one of the best restaurants in Melbourne. Bennett currently serves as the creative director of the restaurant and the parent company of Vudemont and View Groups, having previously been the executive chef. He describes his cooking style as French based with a focus on local produce. Elaborate desserts like deconstructed pavlova, bistro view dessert, which is a very fancy chocolate peanut butter bar, and pear tart tartin as part of his repertoire. Bennett also owns and operates several other hospitality venues in Melbourne. View events at Rialto, the Louis Bar, Bistro View, Benny Burger, and Cafe View in two locations. He's also written six books and has appeared on a number of Australian television shows. And he's a brand ambassador for Miele, Audi, and Espresso. He's also made many appearances as a guest judge on popular cooking shows, MasterChef Australia. Shannon trained at the Grand Hyatt Melbourne for three years and as an apprentice before working for John Burton Race for two years, Marco Pierre White for over two years, and Alan Ducat at Hotel de Paris for a year. In 2003, he was awarded Gourmet Travellers Magazine's inaugural Best Talent title. He was invited to be the first Australian member of the association's Jean Restaurateurs de Europe and Le Grand Tables du Monde. In 2007, Bennett was a guest chef at New York Star's Chef's Congress. Vue du Monde was awarded Restaurateur of the Year in the Good Age Food Guide in 2013 and 2014. On the Vue du Monde menu, you'll find Moonlight Kiss Oysters with Native Citrus Macadamia, Tofu with Kelp and Caviar, Marin Curry, Lamb Saddle and Wild Garlic River Mint Kangaroo, Cantaloupe and Green Ants, and also Chocolate Souffle with Billy Tea Ice Cream. Classic fine dining in a modern context with native Australian ingredients, an unforgettable dining experience. Amazing, Moonlight Kiss Oysters, so good. Carly Kwong is next. Carly Kwong is an Australian television chef, author, television presenter, and restaurateur. She learnt the fundamentals of Cantonese cooking from her mother's side, but she also undertook much of her apprenticeship at Neil Perry's Rock Pool, and then later at restaurant Manfredi. Kwong opened her first restaurant, Billy Kwong in Surrey Hills in Sydney in the year 2000 with Sydney celebrity chef Bill Granger. Kwong later relocated the restaurant to Potts Point and teamed up with HK chef Andrew Sebeck. The restaurant made a commitment in 2005 to only using organic and biodynamic food. All of the soy sauce, sugar, vinegar and oils used to flavour the food are organic. Kylie's philosophy is all about healthy, life-giving, precious food that's sustainable. Billy Kwong received the inaugural Sustainability Award in 2009 from the Sydney Morning Herald Good Food Guide. In 2019, Kwong announced the closure of Billy Kwong in her 15th year, but then in 2001, she opened a cafeteria-style dining venue, Lucky Kwong, which was named after the son she and her wife lost in 2012. Kylie has released five books, all of which share her love of cooking and explore many different facets of Chinese culture and cuisine. She appeared in three TV series on the ABC, Foxtel, and on Discovery Home in the US. In 2012, she appeared as a guest chef in the fourth series of MasterChef Australia, and she returned as a guest judge in the sixth series and guest mentor in the eighth series. Kylie's favorite Cantonese recipes include caramelized pork belly with Chinese coleslaw, spanner crab and ginger dumplings with chili oil, stir-fried beef with black bean sauce and chili, Grilled black Berkshire pig with organic sweet and sour sauce. Also Chinese barbecued sticky pork ribs and stir fried black bean thread noodles with black bean and chili mussels. Great Cantonese food, often with an indigenous ingredient twist. Up next, we have Curtis Stone. 
Curtis Stone is an Australian celebrity chef, author, and television personality. Stone has been the fresh food and recipes ambassador for Coles Supermarket in Australia since 2010. Stone began cooking with his paternal grandmother at the age of four. Then, after high school, he went on to a commercial cookery apprenticeship. He worked in Australian restaurants before leaving to work in London at the age of 18 at the Savoy Hotel. Upon completing his qualifications as a chef, Stone began cooking under Marco Pierre White at Café Royale, and then he went on to become head chef at White's Cuba D. Stone has appeared on a number of cooking programs in the UK, including Dinner in a Box, Good Food Live, and Saturday Kitchen. He also hosted the first season of My Restaurant Rules in Australia. This began in May 2006, and Stone hosted Take Home Chef in the US also, which went on to become an international hit for TLC. He also featured on the Australian travelling cooking show, Surfing the Menu, on the ABC with Ben O'Donoghue. In 2014, Curtis opened his first restaurant, Maud, in Beverly Hills, which was named after his paternal grandmother. Maud was awarded a Michelin star in the 2019 Michelin Guide for California. Stone opened a second restaurant, Gwen, in Hollywood in 2016, named after his maternal grandmother. Stone is best known in Australia for his more than a decade long partnership with Coles Supermarket. He is also known for his fresh seasonal Australian style meat dishes, which have been the inspiration behind many of his cookbooks. Amongst his top 10 dishes, you'll find duck duck goose ravioli, ahi tuna fish tacos, scallop crudo, mum's pork leg roast, and granny Maud's fudge. What a mixture of delights. Now for an Australian legendary cook, Stephanie Alexander. Stephanie Alexander Ao is an Australian cook, restaurateur, and food writer. She learned her trade over 30 years as an owner chef of various restaurants, but she's best known as one of Australia's premier food educators. First published in 1996, her book, The Cook's Companion, is a staple of more than half a million Aussie kitchens. After studying to become a librarian and traveling the world at the age of 21, Alexander's first restaurant, Jamaica House, opened in 1964. In 1976, her next venture was Stephanie's Restaurant, which was located in the Melbourne suburb of Fitzroy, before moving to middle-class suburb of Hawthorne in 1980. Stephanie's restaurant closed in 1997 after operating for 21 years. She went on to publish several cookbooks, including her alphabetical guide to ingredients and cooking, The Cook's Companion, in February 2004, the Stephanie Alexander Kitchen Garden Foundation was established. This not-for-profit organisation is dedicated to supporting schools and introducing pleasurable food education, teaching students to grow, harvest and prepare and share fresh seasonal delicious food. On the 26th of January 1994, Alexander was awarded the Medal of the Order of Australia in recognition of services to the hospitality and the tourist industry. On the 1st of January 2001, she was awarded the Centenary Medal for Outstanding Service to the Food and Wine Industry in Victoria. On the 26th of January 2014, she was appointed an Officer of the Order of Australia for Distinguished Service to Education through design and establishment of school-based learning programs, promoting improved food and eating choices for children, and as an author. To date, Alexander has published 17 books. Among them is The Cook's Companion, 1996, which was revised in 2004 and then revised in 2014, A Shared Table, 2000, and Tuscan Cookbook, co-written with Maggie Beer in 2003. Alexander is a champion of the quality and diversity of Australian food, Many of her recipes are staples for Australian kitchens. The Cook's Companion is like an A to Z of how to make bread and butter pudding or the classic pavlova, but Stephanie's signature dishes include baked fish in a North African ginger marinade, chicken with red wine and vinegar and tomato, French lamb cutlets with anchovy, mint and young peas, and glazed barbecue belly pork to name a few. Good wholesome Australian food with all of its mixed influences. Now here's a character, George Columbaris. George Columbaris is an Australian chef and restaurateur. Columbaris was one of the founding judges on MasterChef Australia from 2009 to 2019. Prior to this, Columbaris appeared regularly on the cooking show Ready Steady Cook. He owned several restaurants in Melbourne. His flagship restaurant, The Press Club, was awarded the Age Good Food Guide Best New Restaurant in 2008, with Columbaris named Chef of the Year in 2008. George draws on his Greek, Cypriot and Italian heritage for inspiration. George has a number of accolades. At the age of 24, he won Best Young Chef of the Year. 
best new restaurant and two chef's hats in the Age Good Food Guide. In 2004, the Global Food and Wine magazine voted him as one of the top 40 chefs of influence in the world. In 2018, he partnered with Qatar Airways to create an in-flight dining menu based on Greek flavours and dishes. Colin Burris has published five cookbooks, including The Press Club, Hellenic Republic, Great Cooking from the Hellenic Heart, Your Place on Wine, and Cook With Us with MasterChef Australia co-judge Gary Mayen. George is well known for his Hellenic dishes like saganaki with peppered figs, Greek lamb with fennel and parsley, spring based scallops with dadama, lamb souvlaki, and Turkish delight filled donuts. Lamb souvlaki, so delicious. And lastly, the paleo chef Pete Evans. Pete Evans is an Australian chef, activist, and television presenter who was a judge of the competitive cooking show My Kitchen Rules. He owned and ran restaurants in Sydney in the early 2000s Hugo's Bondi, Hugo's Lounge, Hugo's Bar Pizza, and Hugo's Manly. The group were awarded eight Sydney Morning Herald Chef Hats, 21 Best in Australia Awards, and three Best Pizza in Australia Awards at the Australian Fine Food Show. In 2005, Hugo's won Best Pizza in the World at the American Pizza Challenge in New York City. Evans was a judge on My Kitchen Rules, MKR, with co-host Manu Fidel. The fourth series of MKR won the Logie Award for the most popular reality TV program in 2015, and it was the highest rated reality TV show with about 2 million weekly views. Evans also hosted A Movable Feast with Fine Cooking, which aired on PBS in the US and was nominated in 2014 for a Daytime Emmy Award. In 2017, Evans produced and narrated a Netflix documentary called The Magic Pill, which promoted the ketogenic diet and claimed that it can help manage autism, asthma and cancer. He's published eight books and has recipe columns in the Australian Women's Weekly, Selector Magazine and Home Beautiful. His food and diet philosophies follow the keto and paleo diet and has been criticised for his strong alternative medicine opinions. His recipes are heavily paleo influenced, generally gluten free, low sugar and dairy free, like kale hummus, pork cutlets with cabbage, raw cauliflower tabbouleh and key lime tart. The paleo lifestyle is low in processed sugary foods and high in quality protein, fresh fruit and vegetables. Pete is dedicated to educating people about nutritional food and wellness. It makes me hungry seeing all of these delicious recipes. So that's our first list of Australian cooks and chefs who have developed a rich and vibrant food scene in Australia. Stay tuned as we keep exploring Australia's chefs and popular restaurants. Bye for now.